Welcome all of you in SST College of Arts and Commerce, Ullas Nagar. This is SST Edopedia. Myself, Assistant Professor Anil Telinge. In our today's session, we we all are learn a uh, good concepts related with the semester three financial accountancy of second year accounting finance student. And the concept is balance it. Dear student, all of you know a financial statement. which is prepared at the end of year is called as the final account of business organization every business organization to know the financial perform performance as well as the financial position of business organization the financial statement helps lots but to construct the financial statement a step by step chronologically we need to a uh, follow some steps a uh, first prime original entry of recording business transaction is called as journal entries a journal then converted into a ledger and ledger converted into trial balance and with the support of trial balance every business organization accountant frame the financial statement of business organization in financial statement it divided in a sub parts up standard wise jayenge 11 commas 12 commas fy sy till a graduation or post graduation level is statement mein as per the regulatory bodies unhone changes karwa hai actually for find out the gross profit we need to prepare trading account to find out the net profit we need to prepare profit and loss accounts and to know the financial position like assets and liability of business organization we need to prepare a financial statement at the end of year called as balance sheet so many definitions related to the balance sheets what is the balance sheet no as a statement of financial position a snapshot of company financial condition at a single point of time a presentation of summary of listing the company's asset liabilities and own equity it is a tentative definition ya meaning of the balance sheet but my dear student in actual sense a system or a statement which record all the real and personal account of business organization all capital expenditures of the business organization all capital receipt of the business organization it is called as a balance sheet a financial statement a list of asset and liabilities of business organization it's called as a balance sheet it is a snapshot easily you can check out the financial position of business organization its tangible intangible assets its current assets its a capital liabilities as well as the current liabilities to aaj ke is session mein hum balance sheet aur usme input include hone wale sabhi parts ko dekhne ka prayas karenge its present the summary of listing of companies like assets of company liabilities of company and own fund of the company again clear the balance sheet is represent the accounting equations for the company the one of the important importance of balance sheet it's provide the financial equation that equation is nothing but asset is equal to liability plus owners equity or it treated as a capital so whatever owners now a capital the concept of capital is change as per the year after year in sole trading business the sole trader capital is treated as a capital in partnership firm the uh, all partners contribution is treated as a capital in joint stock company a point of view equity capital preference capital so many reserves de de deduct deductions after the fictitious asset all are treated as a capital all are treated as a owners equity so balance sheet is helpful to show the equations asset is equal to liability plus owns capital or owners equity or owners capital so dear balance sheet a financial statement we show the financial position of business organization normally the head of balance sheets what involved into the balance sheets Uh, first of all it is nothing but the assets you all of you know asset is the property of business which is helpful to increase the productivity of business organization it also helps to enhance the profitability of business organization for the functioning of joint stock company productivity of joint stock company uh, those things it helps lots it's rated as assets and assets is one of the important components of the balance sheet the resources that business use 
to operate its business such as cash inventories land building equipment motor car furniture etc all are treated as the asset of business organization some example inventory land and building equipment etc any item of value own or contribute by the business that contribute to generating the revenues so those values or contributions for the generation of revenue of business organization to earn or enhance the profitability of business organization organization jo contribution karti hai applications karti hai application of fund aap usko bolte hain all are treated as assets unhe kya bola jata hai assets so asset property hai it is a contribution of the business organization for generating of the generations of the revenue revenue generate karne ke liye profitability increase karne ke liye business organization se is assets mein contribution kiya jata hai aur it is an topmost head of the balance sheet there are some types of assets intangible assets those asset we cannot touch invisible in nature but it created show through the performance of the business organization copyrights patents trademarks brand image and goodwill all are treated as a intangible assets intangible assets also plays an important role in valuations of uh in case of admissions of partnership as well as in case of amalgamation of business organizations the valuation of goodwill copyrights and image it plays an important role its assets of the business organization uh, one of the important uh, assets which is involved into the balance sheet is treated as a fixed asset or long term assets the meaning the asset which is used for long period assets which give the benefits of more than 12 months it's give the uh, long term benefit to the business organizations are treated as the fixed assets of the business organization generally example hai uh, that plant purchase equipment purchase building purchase all are treated as the long term asset of business organization for day to day functioning of business organization uh, they need the short term asset which is treated as a current asset also including in a balance sheet uh, asset which is used for the short periods which is regularly used for the operational cycle of business organization treated as a current asset can be viewed as a company own or contribute the resource from which organization expect the gain in a future profit but a continuous operational cycles means operation which an average time taken by the company to spend the cash for inventories as well as the for collections of the data so all are treated as the current asset of business organization mostly data bills receivable inventory cash all are treated as a current asset so those asset which is used for long period it's called as a long term asset those asset is Uh, uh, it is maybe uh, providing the short term benefit it's called as a current asset which is intangible we cannot touch it it treated as a intangible business assets the asset is nothing but the property of business the one of the important head of the balance sheet which is treated as a liabilities liabilities it treated as a debts liabilities treated as the uh, fund which is generated by the business organization from outsider which are refundable in nature need to refund from the business organization or are treated as the liabilities normally uh, it is a financial obligations or debts of the business and include the claim like a creditors as well as bank loan bank overdrafts bills payable etc so jo bhi fund company ne generate kiya hai a company raised the fund by issue of shares even preferences debenture bonds bank loan etc all are treated as liability of business organization such as account payable bank overdraft provision for employees then tax liability loans payable loan service ya yeah, leave etc it is treated as the liability of business organization as and when compare a balance sheet the both side liability as well as asset a must equal it should always study so a liability is also one of the important task or part of the business organization rather to control over the business to function the business proper ways liabilities and assets are run equivalently the types of current uh, liabilities first of all a current liability a liability uh, which due less than 1 years or it's not more than 1 years debts need to refund within a stipulated periods within a uh, one, e one years or which have a short periods those liability ka short period hota hai 
the occurrence it's or the repayment is uh, within a one years it is treated as a current liability a short term liability you also generate are uh, treated as a current liability so fixed liability current liability now long term debts the organization also raise the fund organization also collect the fund which provide the long term benefits or a refund it's a refund within a uh, 20 to 30 years such a debt is treated as a long term debt it is treated as a long term liabilities uh, like a share issue amount collected by the debentures issue of debentures yeah bank loan all are treated as long term debt of organization sir another liability is treated as a uh, owners equity uh, which is uh, generated or created by the uh, shareholders or owners of the company the owners equity is differ as per the uh, institution to institution sole traders owners equity is nothing but the sole trader capital as well as whatever profit earned by the sole trader partnership owners equity it is contributions of partners deductions of drawing obviously banking uh, own capital whatever the share issue by the banking sectors as well as the reserves companies own equity a joint stock company issue the shares as well as uh, so many reserves accumulated reserves after deductions of the uh, fictitious asset it is treated as own equities insurance point of view same the share capital as well as the reserves which is accumulated by the uh, insurance company all are treated as a owns equity or owners equity of the business organization so dear in current sessions we receive the informations regarding what is balance sheet what are the uh, inputs of the balance sheet which involve into the balance sheets uh, assets the property of business types of asset fixed asset current asset intangible asset uh, then we proceed to the liabilities liabilities uh, long term debts current liabilities as well as the uh, uh, fixed long term liabilities uh, we try to clear even the own equities also one liabilities miss here that is a contingent liability the occurrence of liabilities which need not to show in a balance sheet we need to write down you know uh, after the balance sheet in a note column a contingent liability the occurrence may be a depend on the feature happening it is called as a contingent liability so all of the detailed information regarding the structure of financial statement and a part of that financial statement is called as a balances i see um videos aapke liye banate rahenge regarding to the partnership final account ye aapke aspire bab second year accounting finance semester 3 ke liye admission retirement date is uh, सेशन के लिए इस टॉपिक्स के लिए आपको हेल्पफुल होगी थैंक यू थैंक्स अडॉक्स